low I can feel it we have to stay motivated and this is a time where we just start to fall off from our New Year's goals working out doesn't seem as fun or motivating anymore and it's just it's just not fun I am just as ready for the spring and summer but we cannot give up on the goals we've set for ourselves I just feel unmotivated around this time you're gonna be achieving our dream bodies this year I am fully dedicated to achieving my dream body nothing is gonna be stopping me not the unmotivated season not February nothing is stopping me I just wanted to give you a little pep talk because I know we're all feeling this way I still need to recover from another love or would you be here for me? Never met your parents, not even your mother, but let's see where this leads. What should we do tonight? What if this breaks your little heart in my Let's just go for 30 minutes and guys we ended up being there for like 45 minutes and you know what that just shows like you just gotta do what you gotta do tell yourself you're only gonna go for 20 minutes 
tell yourself you're only gonna go, I don't know, walk on the treadmill. And then you'll end up doing way more than you expected. Once you get into the gym, nine times out of 10, you're always gonna feel like your mood goes from here to here. Always feels so good for me to end my session on my Apple Watch. Like nothing feels better. So do what you have to do and say what you need to say to yourself to get up and out of the house and into the gym, okay? It's literally all about your mindset. Your mindset literally makes the biggest difference every single time. So yeah, and get someone to go to the gym with you. Me and Michael had a good workout. We never work out together because I honestly get too distracted working out with him. We actually did a really good workout. He always pushes me to lift heavier and do heavier things, even though I don't love lifting heavy. You know, I don't mind it when I go with him every once in a while. So yeah, this is just your sign if you're feeling a little mm, down in the dumps, like you don't want to go to the gym. Maybe go for like 20 minutes, I promise. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do is get yourself in. Okay, because I'm starting to feel so pumped. I'm so pumped about, I'm just so pumped about working out. Like, I don't know. I don't even think I'm gonna do many rest days this week. Actually, I'm getting my hair done this week, so I might, <laughs> I might have a rest day the day after I get my hair done. But after that, I'm gonna do something low intensity. What, Mila? What? Do you wanna go boo-boo? Let's let me lie out real quick. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go to do like Pilates or something after I get my hair done. Something that's like not gonna make me sweat a lot um, because I'm not the type of girly that's gonna be, you know, not going to the gym just cause I got my hair done. Will hold off on like high intensity workouts when I get my hair done cause I don't wanna sweat too much. But I'm gonna do something, whether it's like walking for a long time, 12, 3.30, Pilates, like something that is just low intensity. I'm not gonna miss out on too many days. The most I will miss out on is like two. Just trying to stay motivated. I hope I'm keeping you guys motivated too. Maybe this is heaven. Maybe that's just you. I don't trust my judgment because I'm just 22. When my disrupt circles, my heart is out in the rain. I know this is sudden, but do you feel? Cowboys play and I wanted to show you guys my outfit real quick because I love it So I got this vest and this white top from Princess Polly I just wear this vest all the time. It matches everything Princess Polly Princess Polly Lululemon aligned leggings and then I have my Nike Systems or Air Max systems. I love the whole fit super cozy for the Cowboys I'm gonna link the whole fit down below. I'm sorry Mila's behind me. She's just <laughs> You just love your mommy too much. You love your mommy too much. Little family photo. too much trust in these men year after year. Anyway, I set my clothes out when we got here because I'm wanting to go to the gym in the morning. I'm wanting to go and just do a slight workout. I'm not trying to do anything crazy because today we did like back and buys and like I'm still kind of sore from that. But I'm wanting to do 12, 3.30 tomorrow, okay? I'm wanting to do 12, 3.30 and then possibly like just do my ab circuit. So just an easy Monday workout, you know, easy. So I laid my clothes out to be intentional. I don't have to be there super early because I'm just doing 12 through 30. I'm not doing a whole like circuit or anything like that. So 
I don't mind getting there at like 5.15, 5.20. So that is the plan for tomorrow. I'm excited. Um, hopefully I can get to the gym in the morning. It's supposed to get as cold as like 36 tonight. It's going to be cold in the morning. That's why I'm saying I might go to the gym because it's going to be cold in the morning. But I set out some leggings so I can wear leggings to the gym. So hopefully, hopefully I make it. I'm... 98% sure I'm gonna make it. It's 9.02, I'm about to shower. I'm gonna shower and we're gonna watch that one show on HBO Max. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. It's this show called like, The Start of Us or It Ends With Us. I don't know what it's called, but it's a show on HBO Max that everybody's been watching. That's what we're watching right now. It's kind of like The Walking Dead. <laughs> like it reminds me of The Walking Dead. So that's what we're watching right now. So yeah, gonna shower. Get ready for bed, wind down, and I will see you guys in the morning before work for our workout. I want you to know how I feel. Though I may say it, I just think that I might have to spell it out for you. So money again on Starbucks oatmeal someone asked me why don't I just like bring my own oatmeal to work because it'd be a lot cheaper and yes I know I know I should but it never comes out the same like when I make oatmeal at work it always comes out like janky and it's just not good and they just make it right every single time like the consistency and stuff it's just like it will never hit the same as like me making it if the thing is it just hits different here their, their consistency it hits every single time for me o almost every single time I hate it when they put too much water and that pisses me off but this consistency today superior oh my god guys so today has been so good I woke up this morning early in the morning did a 5 a.m. workout I did 12 3 30 on the treadmill well 12 2.7 <laughs> Three is just too fast for my little legs. I'm sorry, I'm four foot 11. My legs are too tiny to be walking at a speed of three for 30 minutes at an incline of 12. Like, no. I did 12, 2.6, 2.7, 2.6, even sometimes at 2.5, and 25 minutes, and then I did my little ab circuit and stuff. I feel like, oops, sorry guys. I want you guys to be cozy with me get comfortable so yeah I worked out on Monday last week and then I didn't work out Tuesday Wednesday or Thursday and Friday I was like all right we got we gotta pick up the morale again we have to pump it back up which is why I worked out Friday Saturday yesterday Sunday and now today which isn't normal for me I usually don't work out like four days consecutively however and I want to make a whole video about this. I feel like I've been making fitness fun again. And I've been working towards making it less of a chore. And I want to say fitness and wellness too. Making it less of a chore and making it more of something that I just want to do because it's fun. And one way that I switch it up and make it fun again is doing different things. Like I'm at a place in my life where I just cannot go to the same place to work out every single day like I have to work out at home and I have to go somewhere else and I have to try different things to make myself excited again so like Friday I did a little dumbbell workout upstairs 
Saturday I did a hit workout. I haven't done a hit workout, guys. I haven't done a hit workout, guys, in so long. And when I did that hit workout on Saturday, I was like, whoa, I need to do more of these. I forgot how much I love hit workouts. And I did like a fun hit workout by um, Pamela Rife. And yeah, I just forgot how much I love a good hit workout, a little mat workout. It made me so happy to just get sweaty at home. And then Sunday, Michael and I ended up going to the gym together. We we're like, let's just go for like 30 minutes. Let's just do like a little workout together. Cause we don't work out often together. It was challenging, but it was so fun to just like switch it up and go with someone. Today, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go and do 12, 3.30, watch some YouTube videos. Like, that was my way of getting myself excited about working out. Sorry, the lighting's going in and out, but yeah, going to the gym and walking on the treadmill and watching YouTube and getting caught up on my favorite creators was like my little reward for going to the gym. You just have to get yourself excited. It has to be something fun for you. Like while I was at work today, I signed up for class pass. I talked about it in my last video and someone left a comment, I'll put it right here, saying like she loves it, like she has a gym membership too and class pass, which is what I'm doing. I'm gonna keep my golds membership and do class pass as well. Um, and you get like your first month free. It's like 36 credits or 38 credits, something like that. So I think I'm gonna either sign up for spin tomorrow or something i want to go to berries i haven't done berries yet and yeah i have class pass now i'm gonna keep it and see how i like it and just try out different gyms because i'm just in a mood to just like try different things out like i want to go to spin and i want to do like boot camps and i just want to like do pilates and just try different things it's just what keeps fitness fun for me honestly just do something different hit up a friend and say hey you want to go to a pilates class together or hey do you want to go to spin together like I just love like changing things up. It just makes it, it just makes it so much more fun and it doesn't even feel like a workout. Oh, one more thing. I'm wearing this sweater from Princess Polly. I feel like this is a Princess Polly ad, but I promise it's not. But my code is still valid with them. So if you want a cute little sweater, I'll link it down below. Use XO Janet for 20% off. Woo! Had to, ooh, I had to bring out the cute little cozy turtleneck. I feel so cute and cozy. Mmm. same one that I made yesterday. It was so, 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 so good. So I'm just sitting here planning out my week, using my little planners and stuff. I'm so excited about this week. I'm just trying to be completely organized this week. It's a six day work week for me, so I'm working at my job from Monday until Saturday this week. So being organized is blah, blah, blah. <laughs> being organized is extremely important for me on six day work weeks so I don't get burnt out. But I'm super excited because I signed up for class pass today during my lunch period and I signed up for solid core this week. I'm super excited to try it again. I didn't have the best experience the first time and I'm, I'm excited because I chose a different instructor this time so hopefully I have a better experience. And yeah, I'm super excited about trying Reformer Pilates again. I also signed up for a spin studio, so that's exciting. If you guys are interested in Class Pass, they're doing a special, sorry, they're doing a special where you can get 36 credits for your first month free, basically. Like, they're just letting you try it out for free, which I think is an amazing deal. So I'm gonna link it down below. I think I, I can use my referrals, so <laughs> try it out, guys. But yeah, the only sucky thing is, like, 36 credits isn't that much, to be completely honest, because, like, classes that are super popular, like um, Solid Core, Barry's Boot Camp, those types of classes, those are, like, 11 credits. So it's, like... Dang, if you go to two of those popular classes, you pretty much used almost all of your credits. But the not so like popular, popular gyms, they only like charge about two credits or like three credits. So it's not bad, it's not bad at all. So I'm wanting to like try out spin this week and just switch it up because I'm super excited about just like 
changing things up with my routine, my fitness routine and getting down into it. I've also been planning meals too. I wanna do soup tonight, obviously. I said I'm gonna do a tomato bisque tonight. And then um, I wanna go to Trader Joe's tomorrow to get something. I'm gonna look on TikTok tonight for a new Trader Joe's recipe because I have protein here, I have chicken, I have ground turkey meat. By the way, speaking of protein, I want to try going vegan for a week and I want to record it and do a whole video of me going plant-based for a week. Would y'all like to see that? I'm nervous. I've never done this in my whole entire life. Like I've always been a meat eater. So like that makes me nervous to do that for a week, but like I kind of want to try it just to kind of like reset my body, you know? Let me know if you'd like to see that because I think that'd be really interesting. But anyway, I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's and just get something different so I can zhuzh up our protein tomorrow or whatever. So yeah, just planning all this and seeing, you know, what I wanna do this week and making sure that like I'm not overwhelmed with everything that I have to do with content, working, working out, eating right, all that good stuff. Um, nothing makes me happier than just being organized because although like my schedule like looks kind of daunting, it's exciting, like I love making content, I love working, I love my job, I love working out, like I, these are all things that I love doing. So just trying to have a good positive mindset and doing things that just work better and in my favor, like planning, because if I don't plan, I'm gonna be like flustered and just scatterbrained and just like not feeling like my best self. So planning is just so essential to me. It is essential. So yeah, guys. Oh, I'm super excited. I'm gonna respond to some emails, gonna start editing this week's videos and probably read. I need to read. <laughs> I need to finish It Ends With Us, guys. I don't know. It's just not catching my attention. I don't know why, it's just not holding my attention. Not catching it, it's just not holding my attention. But I might watch Netflix instead. Okay. <laughs> All right, I am going to get some work done and I'll catch you guys back here for dinner. We're gonna make ourselves some soup. <laughs> I realized right as I was making dinner that I don't have chicken stock on hand, which is so annoying because like I just, honestly guys, I can't make tomato bisque without chicken stock. And I usually am stocked up on chicken stock, but I'm not today. So we need to get that stocked up this week. We'll be doing that obviously. Definitely will be doing that, but um, I had to pivot. I had ground turkey in the fridge. I had pasta sauce, I had pasta. So we made some ground turkey pasta. It was great. Didn't have everything I would have loved to make with it. I usually like to use a better quality pasta sauce than what I did tonight. I used Bertolini's, which Bertolini, whatever. It's only 80 calories. However, it's really high in sodium. It's like 500 milligrams of sodium um, with just like one serving. So you wanna be careful with sodium because that's what makes you bloat and stuff. So. Yeah, I usually like getting the Rouse pasta sauce, the R-A-O, apostrophe S. It's really great, really clean. It doesn't have like citric acid or any of those like preservatives in it. Um, yeah, it's very like a good quality like pasta sauce. I usually get that, but I don't have that in stock either. So we pivoted today and it ended up working out just fine. I was really big on portion control. I used my veggie pasta, which I've been using the same veggie pasta for years. The Ronzoni's veggie pasta, so good. It leave you feeling bloated, it does not make you feel like heavy. It's a, there's a huge difference between my veggie pasta and regular pasta. Like the regular pasta makes me feel exhausted, bloated, all that good stuff. Ronzoni's 
none of that okay and it has several servings of vegetables as well so yeah and we did some broccolini for some greens threw in some spinach bada boom bada bang we pivoted made some dinner and i'm gonna have lunch for tomorrow yeah guys i love sharing these videos with you guys let me know if you guys enjoy them it helps me stay on track as well and it makes me feel great that i'm helping you stay on track within your fitness journey but remember guys remember 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 i say this almost in every single video it takes consistency it takes discipline on the days where you don't feel like doing it you have to show up for yourself or no one else is going to be able to show up for you so if you are wanting to embark on this journey remember it's going to take a lot of hard work but it's so worth it. it is always worth it just last week i was not motivated tuesday through thursday i was just on the couch every single day and this week i have been going and going and going without stopping i had to pick myself up off my bootstraps i think that's the term pick myself up from the bootstraps <laughs> i had to pick myself up and get myself going like I had to do what I had to do to keep up on this journey. So just know guys, it's just gonna take motivation. It's gonna take discipline, but you've got this. I am rooting for you. I know you can do it. So yeah, guys, let me know what other content you wanna see from me. It was so much fun filming this video. Again, like I said, it keeps me inspired, it keeps me going, and I love just sharing what I'm doing to lose weight and to achieve like my dream body for 2023 because we're about to be snatched <laughs> all right guys well i need a shower i clean the shower i clean the whole bathroom today it is just so nice and so clean i love a clean bathroom so i'm gonna take what is that oh those are my shower those are my shoes that i was using to clean the bathroom thing makes me happier than showering in an ultra clean shower like i'm the first person to use it yes okay guys but i gotta go i really gotta go i'm done talking i will see you guys in the next video peace out girl scout bye